Hey, good morning, YouTubers. American Woman RV here. Hope you're having a good morning. Uh, anyhow, I decided to try my Sunbeam. This is an old one. Electric blanket in my RV. It's on right now, electric power. But what I wanted to do is do a little experiment. See how much it would draw if I had it on solar power. So let's take a look at my solar uh, controller right now. And it says we are at 13.0 and the sun is, the solar is charging. So let me get my sine wave inverter. Let me turn this off first. And then get my sine wave inverter turned on, which I do with this. Hear that little beep. And then I will unplug the sunbeam and I'm going to plug it into this GFI protected Belkin strip. Which I'm going to turn the solar on now. This is strictly solar. Now I will plug in the That is plugged into solar, and we're going to turn it on on high. And let's take a look at what happens and see if you can use your solar with your electric blanket and how much it depletes it. All right, after plugging it in, it immediately dropped to 12.4, and it's sucking the solar. You can see how much that takes the juice out of it. It's going down to 12.2. When it hits 11.9, I'm going to turn it off. I just want to see there is some solar coming. It's not directly in the sun. But it did have solar before a minute ago. And now it's at 12.2. Holding at 12.2 with the electric blanket on high. So, I wanted to see if it goes down anymore. It doesn't seem to be going down. So, at least if you know, if you're outside and you're freezing, and it's sunny out, you can plug in your solar to an inverter, and you'll have some amount of power with the heating electric blanket. And we're staying at 12.0, 12.2. It drops under 12, then it's time to shut it down. Let me shut it down and see what happens, what the power happens to the power at that point. So I'm going to turn this off really quick. And now let's see what happens here. Here's the power now. Let's see the solar panels getting sun. But we're holding at 12.2. Well, if you've ever wondered what an electric blanket would cost you electric-wise, there you go. It's at 12.2 now. I don't see the solar sun thing, but maybe it is. I just can't see it. Anyhow, there you go, folks. I thought I'd check it out with my blanket, see if I could use it when I go on a trip, because I'm still not out of town. I had a broken ankle. Broken right ankle for six weeks, and now I have to work to keep my health insurance, so I'm having to uh, work, so I haven't been able to leave town. Anyhow, I'm going to leave town tonight to go do a job, so I'll show you where that is. It's a surprise. And uh, so, okay, we're almost at 12.3 already, so we're charging it up, charging right back up. Bouncing between 12.2 and 12.3. Yeah. It's going there. So, okay, folks, have a great day. I just thought I'd do a little experiment with my electric blanket, see if I could use it outside if it's cold out. Looks like I can, but just got to watch the voltage. That's all. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.